All right. Hello, friends. Uncle Marv here with another episode of the IT Business Podcast presented by NetAlly and a little quick impromptu show as I found a big old notice in my feed for my friend, Dr. Kerry Johansson, is going to be involved in a nice little summit that I thought we should get on here, talk about it, and see if we can't get some more people to sign up. So, Dr. Kerry, how are you? I am great. Thank you, Marv. I really appreciate you doing this. It's a it's a lovely little summit setup, and I am very excited to help increase increase exposure to it. Yeah. All right. So let's first start by saying what it is. It is called the Business Reinvention Summit, and put together by Therese Skelly, and it is going to be. It looks like all next week, October twenty first through the twenty sixth. Yep. Absolutely. And there's a, a, a lovely combination of speakers. Each person is interviewed by Therese specifically to help tell stories about reinvention, especially for female business owners. All right. And this looks like it's set up to do a whole, you know, business transformation and personal growth. Yes, absolutely. And the part of why I was really interested in participating, you know me, I'm never going to be into victim mode mentality, right? Like I'm always going to want to be talking about like, how do we move forward? How do we work with what's really going on and improve our lives? And I felt like Teresa's approach here is it's okay to have problems. We're all going to have them. And how did you overcome them? And where are you on the next uh, on the other end of that issue. So the the focus on reinvention is a solid one for the summit. Yes. And it looks like there are 10 mm -hmm. of you that are going to be participating. So of course, I know you, I know Kat Orsini, uh, a He's friend of mine and some other great women on there. But let's do this. Let's quickly, because I've had you on another podcast, which was not mm -hmm. this one. So mm -hmm. some of my business friends are like, okay, Marv, who is this? And you were, you were on my unhealthy podcast. And I mentioned Dr. Carrie Johansson. Uh, you have been involved for more than 20 years in private practice, specializing in treating anxiety, trauma, PTSD. Yep. And uh, you're out in, let's I'm see, in Denver. Out West, out west yeah. in Denver at Colorado Therapy Care. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, I mentioned the specialization, but basically you're going to be presenting on psychological flexibility, emotional resilience, and boundary setting. Yes. So let's take just a quick moment. And for people that are like, hmm, do I want to go to this? My first answer is going to be yes. But let's explain yes. to them what, what do you mean when you say psychological flexibility? So psychological flexibility sounds fancy and complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. It is all about working with the reality that you that you have. And sometimes that reality is really enjoyable and is exactly, you know, or close to what you want in your world. And sometimes that reality is not what you want in your world. And so we spend a lot of, we burn a lot of emotional energy and mental resources wishing that reality was something different than it actually is. And psychological flexibility is all about harnessing the power of working with the reality you have and then answering my very favorite question, what's my next best move? And this can be applied to things as simple as stuck in traffic. And it can be applied to things as complicated as, hey, my mom's in the hospital. And uh, what what do I do? So that pow the power of psychological flexibility is harnessing the acceptance of the reality you're in, not approval of the reality necessarily, but the acceptance of the reality you're in, and then figuring out how to make it more workable for you. All right. A great concept you and I've talked about before, yes. the ability to just deal with the things that you can control. Yep. And uh, some of these other topics in here sound like they're pretty 
pretty nice. I mean, both business and professional, you know, making a plan for your next move. Uh, Kat, our friends should be talking about how to ignite your revenues yes. with firework Excuse experiences. Me very specific into growing your business and in ways that actually works for you. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I'm going to have a link in the show notes and in the video page once we publish this of where you can go to sign up for this. This is a free summit. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's a week long. Uh, yes, it's a time commitment, but it is free. And you can sign up. And then you're also going to be able to get links afterwards for the video sessions and each interview. So it's not like you have to be present or you're going to miss it. So if you sign up, you're still going to have access to everything. Absolutely. And each presenter is, is giving away something for free and VIPs get a secondary gift, but just even at that free level of registration, everybody gets a free gift. Mine is actually a, uh, mid-year habits workbook. So it's taking a look at for Q4, how do you maximize Q4 both personally and professionally? And the workbook, I shouldn't say workbook because that sounds big and hard and complicated. It's three pages. It will take you 15 minutes and really make an impactful difference. We're all about, at least for me, and I think in general, the speakers at the summit are all about impact in an effective way in a reasonable amount of time. All right. Uh, I should also mention that when you look at the list of speakers, they're all women. And so, of course, my male friends are going to be like, uh, so is this only for women or can men show up? I So probably we should have asked Therese this question before <laughs> we recorded. But my general bias is that, of course, you should show up. Right. Yes, this was primarily designed to target female business owners, but also if you'd like to better understand your female counterparts, please sign up. And a lot of the material, like Kat's material, I know for sure, my material, I know for sure, is absolutely translatable male or female. And I, I think it's really important to be getting great information to all people. Uh, so I'm certainly happy to to put forward my my stuff to, to men and to women. Right. So yeah. here's how I look at it. So the premise of the the summit talks about the fact is, you know, do you feel stuck? You know, do you sure. feel like you're at the point where you need a little nudge to change some things? And this is one of the things where everybody needs a little nudge sometimes. So the question is, where do you begin it? You know, mm -hmm. and so listening to some of these great ladies here will help you with figuring out, you know, like you said, what's next? What do I yeah. need to do? And, you know, I think it's actually really reasonable for us to start making it a regular process of assessing where am I at? Is it close to where I want to be? Or are there some changes that I want to make? And I encourage that you ask yourself that question on a regular basis. It gives you so much more freedom when you are tapped into what's really happening and then choosing what you want to do next. Yes, yes. Yeah. All right. So quick uh, introduction about the summit. Again, it's going all next week, the 21st through the 22nd. We'll have a link for you to go and sign up and you will get daily emails with the links to new interviews. Uh, these are all Zoom sessions, by the way. This isn't something where you're just going to, you know, go into a presentation room and sit. So this is a Zoom meeting. Yep. And uh, you're going to have daily live integrations and implementation calls. Yeah. Let's see yeah. here. I'm just checking for anything else to make sure. Very helpful. <laughs> but again, like that emphasis on helpful, effective, helpful information that's actually effective that you can implement in a reasonable amount of time, I would say would be the sort of foundational pieces to the summit. Okay. There you have it, folks. The Business Reinvention Summit. And uh, go and check out my good friend, Dr. Carey. Thank so, you, Mark. You're so awesome. Doc, thanks for hanging out. And uh, we'll catch up with you a little bit later. Okay.